This is just a static photo. And then I use VO3 to convert that photo into this talking video. Hey, I have a question for you. Why did the newspaper go to therapy? Because it had too many issues. <laughs> But then I use Eleven Labs to change this man's voice with a completely different voice. Here's the result. Hey, I have a question for you. Why did the newspaper go to therapy? Because it had too many issues. <laughs> and as you can see, it is actually able to mimic the emotion and mannerism of the original voice. So this is actually a great way to create a sort of AI avatar video with the help of VO3, whether it is from Google Flow or Gemini AI. And then we can pair that with the speech technology from Eleven Labs. So this is the step-by-step -step process to convert any photo, especially your own photo, and then use your own voice to be cloned on Eleven Labs. And we can use that voice to make the video that was created by VO3 with your own voice. So here's how I can do that. First, let's navigate to either Gemini or maybe Google Flow. It's up to you. But in this case, I'll just use Gemini AI. Okay, let's go to Gemini.Google.com. And then let's enable video. We want to create a video. Click Add Photo. And then I have these two photos and I'm not sure which one that I want to use, but I guess I want to try using this one. By the way, it is not my own photo. It is not me. But, you know, this is just one example. You can definitely use your own photo. Okay, so after that, you can provide some prompt and you can actually make this person or the character to be talking in the video. This is one prompt that I'm going to use. And basically, the words that you want the character to speak in the video, you have to put that words in a quotation mark like this one. And this section will basically is going to be the content or things that he will say in the video. So this is my problem. It's very simple. And after that, you can send the message and just wait for VO3 to convert this photo, static photo, into a video. Again, you can use Google Flow if you are much more comfortable using that tool, but I'll just use Gemini for simplicity. Okay, just wait until the video is generated and then we can move on to the next step. Okay, so this is the result. Let me play the video for you. I have something for you. Where do rainbows go after being arrested? To the prism. <laughs> I have something okay, for you. Okay, I think it's pretty good. Now, if you're happy with the result, you can click the download button right here and it will start downloading the content into your computer. Now, again, you can also use Google Flow if you're much more comfortable using that tool to convert the photo into a video. Now, basically, when you're done creating the video, we can continue to the next step. So you can navigate to 11labs.io and just log in with your account. And I think I should mention that this requires at least the starter plan on 11labs, which will cost you $5 a month. Or you can watch my other video on how you can get the free version, actually get the paid version of 11labs for free. You can check my video on my channel to get uh, 11 Labs for free. But anyway, after you have landed on 11 Labs and you have subscribed to the paid version of this platform, navigate to Voices because here we want to clone your own voice. So to do that, you can click Create or Clone a Voice and select Instant Voice Clone. Now, technically, you can use Professional Voice Clone, but that will take an even longer processing time. It is going to require at least 30 minutes of clean audio, so it's kind of difficult for most people. And I do recommend to just use Instant Clone for basic usage. And then here, you can either record your own audio from now. I mean, it only needs, I think, 10 seconds of audio, so maybe you can do it right now, or you can just prepare some better and cleaner audio that later you can upload into this area. I actually have prepared an audio, so I'm going to select this option. And let me just uh, select this audio file that I just prepared. And there you go. So there's two options to remove the background. You can enable that in case you have some noise in the background. And by the way, just to give you some context, I'll play the example so we can compare the clone and the clone version of my own voice. What an amazing day. This morning I woke up and found a treasure map in my backyard. Can you believe it? I grabbed a shovel and started digging right away. After about two hours, I hit something hard. 
it was a big wooden box. Okay, that's uh, my voice. Maybe not the best condition, but hey, at least I could use this file for cloning my voice. Now, once, you, once you're done providing the audio file, you can click next. And after this, we have to provide some name and some other details about this voice. So let's call this one my own voice. And let's add some label. Uh, the language is, of course, it is English. Let me just select the English language. And add another label. The accent is going to be... Okay, I'm not sure about my accent. I never actually do any, any test. I never ask anyone about my accent. But you know what? Let's just use American accent. This is actually not very important because I'm going to use this privately. Unless if you want to share this voice publicly, then you might want to make the label to be as accurate as possible. But if you're just using it personally, the label doesn't have to be accurate. Now let's add another label. This is gender. Of course, it's going to be male. Another label. The age is going to be young adult, I, I guess. And description, it's optional. I just uh, describe it my own voice that's it enable this option basically you want to confirm that you have the right for this voice if this is your own voice you can just easily enable that but if you're using somebody else's voice then ideally you might want to get their own permission to use their own voice to be trained by elephant labs ai that is very much important that's a policy on elephant labs now after that you can click save voice and okay there are some options to try your own uh, your clone voice but i'll just skip it and now we have the voice clone let's move on to voice changer and here you can upload the file upload the video that you just downloaded from vo3 let's select that video okay now on settings you want to change the voice let's select my own voice and by the way you might want to navigate to instant voice clones and then you can select your own voice right here and for settings i usually just use the default setting but feel free to change the settings you are not quite satisfied with the result and i guess i will enable remove background noise as well and when you're done with the settings and the voice selection just click generate speech and just wait for a few seconds Okay, so it's taking a bit longer than I expected. There you go. Now, I have something let's for you. play the audio. Where do rainbows go after... Okay, I will start all of it again. I have something for you. Where do rainbows go after being arrested? To the prism. <laughs> okay, I'm not quite happy with that, but you know what? Let's just continue. So after that... Uh, let's say assuming that you are quite satisfied with the result if you're not you can click regenerate speech again but assuming that you are satisfied with the generation on Eleven Labs you can open pretty much any video editor because we actually cannot download the video we can only download the audio that was created so we have to stitch the audio and video back together and for that you can use any video editor even the basic one on your phone could easily do that now I'm going to be using Filmora because it is now available on my computer but again feel free to use any or your favorite video editor and by the way i forgot to mention that you have to download the audio first let's click download and after that let's open any video editor and i'll just make this thing as quickly as possible i'll just import the original video which is this one from vo3 and now the audio that was created by eleven labs now i'm going to drag this video into the timeline Let's use the same resolution. And I'm going to mute this video. Again, it was still using the original video 3 audio. I'm going to right click and mute the audio. And I'll add this newly created audio based on my voice into the same timeline at the bottom of that clip. Now let's play the video and you'll see that this person will now using my voice. I have something for you. Where do rainbows go after being arrested? To the prism. <laughs> okay, now let's compare that to the original audio. I'm going to uh, unmute this and I'll mute my own voice. I have something for you. Where do rainbows go after being arrested? To the prism. <laughs> 
So yeah, I guess the benefit is that the generation from VO3 happens to be somewhat similar to my own voice and that's why the uh, changes is kind of smooth and that's actually a key that you need to know. Uh, you might want to just use the same gender or use the same character. If you are an old person that you might want to create or tell AI, tell VO3 that you are uh, trying to mimic the old person character. It is going to be very helpful when Urban Labs is changing the voice with your own voice. Now, here, let's just uh, mute the original audio again, and I'm going to unmute my video, sorry, my audio. And you can export the video. And let me just click export. And there you go. So that's basically it. Uh, this is the final I video. I have something for you. Where do rainbows go after being arrested? To the prism. <laughs> so yeah, it was really amazing. It's pretty good. And it was from this. Where do rainbows go after being arrested? To the prism. <laughs> I have something for you. Okay, so I'm quite happy with the result. And that's basically the whole steps that you need to take to create your own AI avatar using Fio3 and then change the voice with your own voice with the help of Eleven Labs cloning technology. Yeah, uh, it's a quite a long video, but I'm hoping that you learned something from this tutorial. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.